All right, they need they ask me. So I don't. I can't remember what this was. I'm just gonna press play, and we're gonna be surprised. Oh, Jerry Jones. Uh -huh. Shining like a baby. Why did you have this with the music? Huh? Why is the music? Over? Oh, they have practice. <laughs> Oh, actually, I'm going to cut this off because this music is going crazy. The music is actually louder than what they're saying. Yeah. It's just basic, pretty much he just measuring, dude. Uh, everybody, Pause. everybody, he wasn't literally measuring them. I mean, he was but, calling out the measurements. But yeah, 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 yeah. Jamie Foxx, he was at the Cowboys. We all know Jamie Foxx from Texas. He a Cowboys fan. He was up at the practice. He was on live. He didn't expect Jerry Jones to say that shit. I'm going to be honest, dog. <coughs> Jerry Jones, the way Jerry Jones looked at him and said all that zesty ass shit, he was a little too comfortable with mm -hmm. Jamie Foxx. So that lets me wonder, like, what all he be talking to Jamie Foxx with, and why is he so comfortable saying that some absurd shit like well, that? Well, it wasn't just Jamie Foxx there, you could tell. And I think that, you know, not even to sound no kind of way, I think he was on some, like, chopping block type shit. Like, hey, this what these niggas is on. Yeah. But for him to be have Jamie Feet, obviously White. he's obviously cool with Jamie Foxx to have him at the practice. White folks be them. fixated with black black penis. <coughs> I, yeah. Like I don't understand it, but what they call that shit? The Mandingo shit. Them, one of them dudes, them cup dudes, they be letting them, they wives get yeah. fucked by black dudes and be yeah. watching it. I know y'all yeah. don't. I know y'all freaky niggas used to watch Real Sex back in the day. They used to be on them Real Sex episodes. <laughs> All right, man. I got this one lady, man. I'm sorry, bro. She was a Scotty Barnes ex girlfriend. I ain't gonna say she need her ass beat, but she need a reality check. And I'm just gonna play the video. I'll go from there. I mean, definitely. She has nothing else to. What's that looking? Put a finger down if you were dating your high school sweetheart for almost six years. You're holding it down for him while he's trying to make it to the NBA. He makes it to the NBA, so you move to another country to be there with him to support him, all while studying for your masters. One day, out of the blue, he breaks up with you, and then months later. He gets a white girl pregnant. Just me? Oh, okay. It's a lot of intangibles to go with it. I'm not. I'm not for uh, niggas dating sun dodgers, man. I, I think all black sun men. Should, I think all black men should be with black queens, but I don't know, bro. It's like it might be a reason why. It, it's something that that older white woman got that he liked, bro. And I'm sorry, she said she was holding the nigga down when he was in the NBA, bro. Oh, getting trying to get to the NBA. I'm sorry, lady. You didn't make that nigga six seven. He was Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes is from. He's from uh, Florida. He was destined. He was gonna go to the NBA whether he was with you or not. Right, right. Scotty Barnes been a hooper, even though he, he, he people roast him because they say he autistic. That nigga know how to hoop. He definitely does. But yeah, yeah. He, he 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 got some <coughs> mental issues for sure. He went to one. He went to uh, one of the best schools, uh, the Mount V, mm -hmm. one of the best basketball schools in Florida. He went there. He went to. Uh, yeah, he, he was destined. Yeah, he was, mean, he was he was going to go to the NBA, and she said move to another country, bro. That nigga played for the Toronto Raptors, bro. I mean, technically. Come on, bro. That shit next to New York, bro. Yeah. That shit next to that shit outside Detroit. Yeah, bro. you can drive to it. <laughs> bro, if you miss an exit in Detroit, you're gonna be in Toronto. But you can also drive to Mexico, so. I feel you. Say, hey, man. Hey, hey, lady. It's I, I don't know, bro. She 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 needs her ass beat for even going through all of this. Like clearly, she looks good. You know what I'm saying? Like move the fuck on. Hey, you gotta move on, bro. Move on. I'm sure you was around that nigga teammates and shit like that. If you want to be a basketball wife type shit, man, fish. Nigga, also, man, I ain't trying to say you should, gotta salute him, but. He didn't string her along. He got the white woman pregnant. It was like, all right, this is off. Most what? niggas would have kept that, would have kept her ass with the, with the, be like, hey, accept my my outside baby. Well, from the story, it, it, I think they had already broken up. They had already separated, and then months later, he ended up getting her pregnant. <coughs> he might have been a victim of the game. Yeah. Got too happy in the pussy. You know, he, he ain't all the way there. 
Yeah, it's nigga went in there and knocked the screws loose. Hey man, let's be real, man. The way she sounded, if this nigga hit her up and be like, "Hey man, I know I got this white lady pregnant, but I want to take you back. You gotta accept my my um my oh let me not use that term. You gotta accept my that's crazy. You, you mm. my fault, y'all man. I be getting I be getting too comfortable on here sometimes. Nigga, you gotta you gotta accept my uh. <laughs> All right, let's get the tag. I gotta take that up. That was crazy. <laughs> That was crazy. Oh my god! Nigga yeah. threw a slur out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta get the tag on that, bro. Yeah. That can't hit the air. That was. Oh my god! I be getting too comfortable on here, y'all. Uh, Patreon.com slash Yeah, I'll I, 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 I let that fly on the Patreon, but I can't let that fly on the main episode. Man. But you got to set my mixed baby and all that. She, she, the way she sounded, she'll be over there in a, a nanosecond. Yeah. I mean, this this don't end with because even for the next nigga, like if the shit don't work out, you think I want to be on a TikTok? That nigga don't care, bro. That nigga yeah, just signed up. But I'm just saying, that like that shit. Max contract, bro. He don't give a fuck. Yeah, he don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> that nigga don't care, bro. That white lady might have been nicer, also. I don't know, bro. Well, it's it's more to the story. We never gonna get it because that nigga, the fuck that nigga, Scotty Barnes got to make a TikTok for. All right, bro. Um, I like. Real life street stars, but y'all running a circus over there between y'all niggas interviewing fucking Charleston White every day, Orlando Brown every day, fucking Jaguar Wright every day. I seen they interview some chick that said she was Tupac daughter. Now y'all interviewing this lady, man. This lady is clearly mentally ill. Talking about some she R. Kelly and Aaliyah daughter. How would you even have to prove something like that? I don't know, bro. She just mentally ill. That's why I said, man, real life street stars. I respect y'all, man. Y'all got a lot of subs, bro. But y'all running the circus over there, bro. Stop, <laughs> in, stop interviewing these clinically insane people. What made you want to share this information with the world? Because sometimes some people will know these things and they'll just they'll take it to their grave. I, even I, so, I sound like I'm crazy. I, I ain't gonna be hard yeah, to prove, bro, but face, bro. I know insane. from my Listen heart and the fact that they went so hard to try to dispel what I've been saying. You don't resemble R. Kelly Aaliyah to a T. Yeah. What would you say to that as far as someone saying that, hey, you don't look like your dad, you don't look like your mother. You know, normally well, I have two two words: mm -hmm. DNA and biology. It, everybody don't look like their parents. Everybody looks like somebody look like their grandparents. Somebody look like the great great grandparents or the great auntie. Mm -hmm. We that's how life is. And they do all kinds of wild shit, and then they fuck up, and then they want to erase reality yeah, like it Jaguar. never happened. Mm -hmm. right and there are so me. many of these children who are victims and casualty of their narcissistic sociopathic ways i remember one time i was watching a jaguar right uh episode he it was jaguar right and orlando brown bro i think i made it like six minutes into that shit i was like bro I, what am i doing with my life i need to live better bro <laughs> <laughs> that nigga know. beat out almost had me uh, on the Jaguar right trade. I almost started watching the videos. Man, I was like, man, fuck. Don't no. listen to that nigga beat up, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, you got some good ones in here. That uh, that 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 junk you on was crazy. I ain't trying to do all of them, bro. Cause I, I mean, got too many. I'm trying to save something for next week. I feel you. Uh, which one should I do? Which one you want? You want to do the junkie one? Yeah, hey, this man, is insane. Whip, Whip is done. Took over Atlanta, bro. Of course, yeah. it took over Atlanta. I know. They got a junkie hit and a whip it. And I'm gonna be honest, bro, that junkie done hit worse. Yeah. Hey, hit it, hit it. Yo. The, the terrible Yo. part about this is Yo. one of them niggas hit the whip. Oh, 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 yeah. Yo. I was scared of that nigga after the whip. Oh yeah, okay. Hey, you got your fresh now. You good? Are you sure they want no more? Yeah, that shit new. They new shit on. They be new and improved. That be called whip it on. Oh, didn't bad, didn't bad, didn't bad. Yeah, we just do experience, man, some shit like that. 
kids. We just do experiments. <laughs> we do experiments on crackheads. On bases. <laughs> All right, I got this. Uh, man, this, I ain't gonna play this a long video, man. That nigga Rollo was acting a fool at the uh, Rich Company Quan funeral, but nigga was going live. Man. I don't know if you watched the video, bro. Like, right, right, right. he that? was going live, and like one of the niggas that was behind him looked like he wanted to slap the shit out of him. I believe it. Oh, let go. For, look at him. It's this part right here. Oh, we came in all white. Plus, <laughs> wild blood. I thought I said Cass was this. Look how bro in the behind him, like inside of him, like bro, this nigga ignorant as fuck. Yeah. And we've all been to funerals. We know this part right here when they about to bring him to the ground, that's the hardest part. All right. That's like the most serious part of the mm -hmm. funeral. And this nigga on IG Live, bro, this nigga's lame as Talking fuck. Talking shit about like what they should have been wearing. Talking yeah. about I should have came casually dressed. Yeah, bro. Nigga on a fucking Kango hat, dog. Nigga's a loser, bro. Look at him. Look at the dude behind him. We're like, man, this stupid ass nigga, man. I don't know. He got his camera up too. That nigga might have been trying to be in the line. No, I'm talking about that nigga to the left with oh, the bald yeah, yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked like he ready to put a gun in that <laughs> nigga. <laughs> and that might be like a that might be one of Rich Homie Quan family members. That's real. He like, That's bro, real. what the fuck, bro? That's my cousin funeral. You had that weird nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Even coming, like, to me, funerals should be a humbling <coughs> experience. You know what I'm saying? You coming out there with chains on, your mouth already full of diamonds and shit like that. Man, man have some, some humility. That's crazy. Man, I got this lady, man. This is crazy because she's, like, known on Twitter, bro. 32-year-old. I can't remember her Twitter name. But I came across her account today. I got a bunch of mutual followers of her. And I've definitely seen her before. And I definitely seen her posting her kids a lot. <coughs> she uh say thirty two year old Talika Brown of Saint Pleasant charged with attempted first degree murder for allegedly shooting her thirteen year old daughter yesterday. When she called police, she stated that her daughter was walking home from school and came home shot. That was a lie. That's funny. They wrote that bit like it was the Maury lie yeah, detector yeah, test. Yeah, that was yeah. Shoot, that bit. <laughs> that was a lie. <laughs> that bit a lie. Yeah, bro. Why would you shoot your thirteen year old daughter, bro? That that there's no excuse for that. And I seen like one of her home. I, I, yeah, one of her home girls was like, "Man, fuck y'all. Y'all don't know what happened." I was like, I don't think we need to know. Like the girl was shot multiple times. Really? Outside, and then she left. The mom. They didn't add that. The mom just left her there outside. Shot. Nigga, that's cruel, and, man. Some women ain't fit to be mothers. <clears throat> yeah, her last tweet is like some shit with like, I can't. She said, I'm looking for a man or some shit like that. And I'm like, well, you about to find, you about to find one. You about to find Big Bertha. <laughs> yeah. Her name going to be Gloria. <laughs> and what she got going to be uh, plastic. Hey, man, fellas, be safe out here. Yeah, brother that serious. sent brother that sent in that uh that uh that that uh what you call it, that email to us. Yeah, hopefully you're not going through what this right here. This young lady she tweeted, man, she told all on her homegirl. She said, "So a rapper came to my city and my friend fucked him backstage while her boyfriend was at the concert. Am I a bad friend if I snitch?" Follow a tweet. <laughs> this is crazy right here. If I found out this was my girl, I would throw up everywhere. He said her legs were shaking while her 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 legs were shaking the whole car ride home. She had to cover with her sweater. He asked if she was cold. Yeah. Boy, that nigga put your girl through the mattress while you was outside. <laughs> bro, that nigga was Damn. the legs shaking, bro. That That's nigga put crazy. That, <laughs> That's crazy. That nigga put that Thor ham on your girl, That's bro. That's crazy. While you was outside grooving to that nigga music, bro. Nigga just piping your girl now. Nigga, how how long was she gone? Nigga. Well, you wasn't worried. You, nigga wasn't concerned at all. Like, bro, what's taking us so long? That nigga must have took that nigga girl to, to the pound town in six minutes. Hey, shit, he ain't had no reason to be making love. <coughs> yeah, that's crazy, bro. I got, um, I, I finished with these, man. I got South Carolina and Missouri, Missouri. man. Y'all both need y'all ass beat. Y'all had two black men get executed after people, several people said they didn't do it and left a, a lot of um, evidence on them not doing 
Matter of fact, uh, Marcellus Williams, he was uh, executed today. Literally was framed for a murder that he didn't do. He right. didn't, they had the DNA on the knife. wasn't his DNA. They just simply just went off two people saying he did it that didn't like him. And the other guy, somebody came out and t- testified that he lied, right? Yeah, Freddie, oh, Freddie Owen, somebody came out and said that they did it. They didn't want him. They didn't want to do the... They didn't want to go to jail. Yeah, yeah. they didn't want to go to jail for it. They admitted they did it. And it's crazy that these people... Well, not these people. Oh, well, yeah, these people in these states, they have, like, enough time to overturn shit, and they just won't simply do it. Like, yep. that time when um, Tookie Williams was yep. about to get executed, yep. and um, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor, and he had a chance to, like, not... And he would... And, he knew Tookie Williams. They used to work out in together and shit back in the day. And he was like, man, I'm like, fuck it. Still execute that nigga. That's crazy. That shit crazy, bro. That's like, it's it's almost like a legal, like, lynching pretty much. Like, yes. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. That shit crazy, man. Yeah, you got too many. Yeah, I'm done, bro. I, I ain't mean. got nothing this week. <clears throat> uh, let's do a couple of these submissions. I got Aaron. He said that. I mean, he got this one. This nigga. person definitely need their ass beat. I ain't never seen nobody in just three, five <coughs> guy meals. Damn, this nigga, bro. How much this is? Nigga balling, bro. Nigga got three, five guy burgers, fries, and a drink. Nigga, that's fifteen guys. <laughs> also, this, pause. This that Ray Monte nigga. That's like that's the gay nigga. So he probably that it probably yeah, not the pause. first time he had five guys in his mouth. <sighs> All right, so um, that was that was. <laughs> necessary. Uh, next one from Grand National. Man, y'all y'all know I'll be watching the Jocelyn show, man. I'm gonna have to bring that back to the Patreon. Y'all been I gotta me. watch this shit. <laughs> Bro, this shit, first of all, this the, the I wonder I, why folks even go on this show. This girl, her name is Wet Wet. This is like our third she got she get beat up a lot. I she got that. beat up by that one girl. I don't know if you ever seen when the girl was doing like MMA moves. Mm-hmm. She got beat up by the girl. It was crazy because like Wet Wet was arguing with a girl. The next thing you know, the girl that was doing MMA, MMA moves, she just like came from like under. It. So just imagine, <laughs> imagine Wet Wet is in this room, yeah, and then the MMA girl, she just like under the table. And Wet Wet was like, man, fuck y'all bitches. And the MMA girl just slid from under the table <laughs> and just looking at her. That's funny. And she as was hell. just staring at her. And she was just like staring at her. And Wet Wet was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I And just, just, the girl just started doing all kind of like elbows and combinations on her ass. That's insane. You can't Brother. you can't you can't stop that. You bro, can't. she slid from under the table like the Terminator, <laughs> bro. She says. The defense is tough on that. <laughs> I would have ran, nigga. I would have like, okay. Yeah, hey, yeah. Nigga, y'all forgot me, nigga. <laughs> you got to do something. <clears throat> All right, so Wet Wet, man, we Wet Wet, you should know Jocelyn do cocaine. Yeah. I'm going to be honest also, she kind of tried, Jocelyn. Don't dust up the room, then dust me a bitch. That's real. Babe, hey. I see you got on your way out for like you always do. Yeah. Well, you look great. <laughs> Jocelyn was ready to. I want to watch that episode. I don't know if that. I think it's like hey, the yo. next episode or whatever. That was like one of the leading. That that right there. I wasn't sure if I was gonna watch this season. Uh, uh Jocelyn Cabaret, but that that sealed the deal. Yeah, that sealed the deal, man. Y'all know I like my low vibrational TV here and there. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is from Big Tim. This nigga, his name Old Measy. He pretty big on YouTube, but I don't. Bro, you don't even have, he got a lot of subs on YouTube, bro. You don't even gotta do all this, bro. He posted a picture of him lathered up in baby oil. And it says, sorry, I'm late to the P Diddy. The, I mean late to the party, P. Diddy. Link in bio. Yeah, nah, pause. And who is this? Oh, Measy. He a YouTube nigga. Yeah, he cool with nigga. he cool with them um <laughs> this is crazy. He cool with the amp niggas. When I say amp niggas, I don't mean me. <laughs> I mean the streaming amp niggas, like Kate Casa and yeah. all them niggas. Uh, Alonzo. Well, this is, this is crazy. Nigga said that nigga had said, DoorDash price is so high, it make you want to dig in your ass and eat what you had last night. All right, that's, ew. 
I ain't never been that hungry, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Ew. I don't think nobody been that hungry, bro. <laughs> oh, nigga. Yeah, bro, you tripping. You, you too hungry, nigga. <laughs> bro, what's your GoFundMe? You need nigga? a can drive. like Can drive is crazy. <laughs> um, This one from Sir Jeshua. I'm going to be honest, Sir Jeshua. I don't know how they need their ass beat, bro. I think this is a real nigga ass to me. He said, landlord just did a viewing for our house and forgot about this in the bathroom. <laughs> so somebody just got a picture of, I think that's Gianna Michaels. Yeah, that's Gianna Michaels. Autographed picture, chilling in the bathroom. Hey, man. Hey, man. He, he respecting the legend. Hey, man. It's autographed. <coughs> you kind of got to put that in the frame somewhere. <laughs> The oh, yeah, frame, that. the fact that the frame don't fit and the picture is covering someone is yeah. hilarious. I was just about to say, bro, who is that he covering? <laughs> that nigga covering his dead dad. But this being in the bathroom is egregious. <laughs> hey, man. It is nigga said, it. hey, it come with the house, man. Appreciate that shit. Yeah, we got to respect our legend. It's funny because the dude actually posted like a follow-up picture. He was like, this is the day that I got the picture. And he was taking a picture with Gianna Michaels and she was grabbing his meat. Wow! Yeah, oh, hey. hey man, gotta remember that shit for real. Uh, I do this one from King. Yeah, Shawty need her and be for real. Josh, I just got married, but I leave my husband for you. She talking about Josh Allen, the dude that uh he killed us last night. She might be talking about the seven eight six, but that's <laughs> up for debate. <laughs> yeah, it is a white woman, so we never know. Hey, man, I ain't know Josh Allen was Haitian, man. Oh, Nick. it does say P.S. He's <clears throat> right here, too. Yeah, man, I ain't know Josh Allen was Haitian, bro. He ate the fuck out of the cat last night. <laughs> but um, That, that, that. That was great. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they got, beat the snot out of us. Well, they tore us out of the frame. I stopped watching once they once that shit got to, like, 13 to, like, yeah, zero. Yeah, man, I ended up going out to a restaurant with my girl, <laughs> and they had that shit on. I... Bruh, when I seen the score, I turn it go. off. Yeah, I was like, why the fuck are y'all still open? Oh, once I actually I turned it off once he threw that interception to Demar Hamlin. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, you cut this off, bro. You going <laughs> bullshit, bro? <laughs> Might be over for them Jags, bro. Oh, nigga. Oh yeah, if you we in the AFC, if you zero and three in the AFC, it's a wrap. Bro. It's a wrap. Yeah, bro. It's too it's too many fire teams in the AFC, bro. You can't be. Now, what you call it is zero and three. Um, I believe the Ravens are zero and three, or they might be two and one and two. I don't Them think niggas, the Ravens is zero and three. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. I know they lost two games though. I don't know. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Let's see what the Ravens is. My point is whether they one and two or they zero and three. That nigga Lamar Jackson is fire, so yeah. he he can he can get out the hole. It's been seasons where the the Chiefs started zero and three, yeah. still won the Super Bowl. They got elite, they got elite offense and defense, so they could get out that hole. We mm-hmm. got none of that, so we start off in a hole. It's over. Boy, them niggas ain't got no will to win. Got an ass coach. What you call it, Doug? He be looking like he a fucking alcoholic. That nigga be looking confused on the sideline. Hey, <laughs> hey, what did they call? Yeah, them, uh, yeah, them Ravens. They wanted to. Damn. Yeah, yeah. That's what that nigga be calling up to the uh, to the office to say. I hate how um he let Press Taylor have so much fucking power on offense. Yeah. Like the nigga stink, bro. Like, put your foot down. You the coach. <sighs> I think I'm gonna just do this this last one. This one from uh, Aaron. Uh, this nigga uh, Michael Eric Dyson man, he got caught out here being a coon. Mm-hmm. So he called this um, this uh, lady uh, Nancy Macy called her a uh, I think he called a her racist. A, a racist cracker or some shit like that. And she said, "Oh Ben, I'm a racist cracker. I got I got you shooting your shot." I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, 
He says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody we look good together and sent me a kissy emoji. Without and objection. The guy, the guy says order. I'm gorgeous and all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the, one or the other. Hey, man. That's crazy. Michael Eric Dyson, you as well, and for sure, you shouldn't have taken that picture regardless. I you mean, should have known she was going to expose him. I'm also, I'm also going to say this, man. I don't know. I heard this, but I heard racist women got the best coochie. But um, this has been another episode of Random Master Podcast. <laughs> it's your boy, Amber Valley, man. Mr. Jefferson, y'all know what it is. <laughs> you see, Joe didn't object to it, so he heard the same thing, man. I heard they, I heard they screamers. I ain't tried it. I heard, <laughs> I heard they screamers too, but they just, they just come with a little racism. I don't know, bro. I, I'll never find. You might out. hear niggas. <laughs> Some of y'all niggas might like that shit, bro. I don't know, bro. Nigga, Josh, you, nigga, Josh, another shot at Josh, man. <laughs> hey, man, with all that said, man, we out, bro. <laughs>